I might do a backflip if they moved up and take Cooper to Gene. <laughs> I would love to see. I think it's all of the players. Oh, the oh, pick is wow. in. The Eagles have taken cornerback Cooper to Gene. Wow. Cooper DeGene is a versatile, fundamentally sound, and supremely athletic defensive back. Not only is he the best run defending quarter in this class, but DeGene's combination of athleticism, high football IQ, make him a dynamic pass defender as well. He's a scheme-proof chess piece with the ability to excel at any position in the defensive backfield, whether that's at safety, outside corner, or as a nickel defender. On the defensive side of the ball, he only allowed one touchdown all season, and his 0.15 big plays allowed per target ranked 25th among FBS cornerbacks. In 2022, he had three pick sixes, setting Iowa's single season record. The bottom line is that when this guy is healthy and on the football field, he finds ways to make it worth your time to watch. Let's talk about strengths. Cooper DeGene has great size for a defensive back that allows him to be stout in run defense and when tackling. He's got quick controlled footwork in his back pedal that allows him to veer and break exactly how he needs to. His instincts and football IQ are off the charts and he's a leader on and off the football field. He has the natural athletic ability to play press and tons of special teams experience as a gunner and returner. And then we get to production and tape. In my opinion, DeGene's best work comes from the slot where he's allowed just 0.33 yards per coverage snap, which is an elite, elite number. He's also allowed just a 52.8 passer rating on throws into his coverage during his career at Iowa. He had a 4-4 second 40 yard dash and posted 10 foot four broad jump after recovering from a fractured fibula that ended his 2023 season at the combine. Let's get to weaknesses. DeGene only has 199 snaps in press and less than 25% over the past two years. His change of direction and acceleration when he's flipping his hips can be slow because of his good size and that is where some concerns come in in regarding to keeping up with the best of the best wide receivers in the NFL. But let's make this perfectly clear. The talk of Cooper DeGene playing outside cornerback or safety or slot at the next level is not due to lack of a home position. It's because he could truly be an impact player at all those spots. His footwork, ball skills, and explosive athleticism are all top notch and he very much looks like the chess piece the Eagles defense has been missing since Malcolm Jenkins left years ago. Overall, you have to love this selection for the Philadelphia Eagles. The Eagles are aggressively addressing what was arguably their biggest weakness in 2023, their pass defense. The 253 yards per game they surrendered through the air last year was the second worst mark in the NFL and one of the major reasons they imploded the final two months of the season. The Eagles have now added Quinion Mitchell, Cooper DeGene, and CJ Gardner-Johnson, as well as Isaiah Rogers, who was suspended for a year for violating the league's gambling policy and was restated last week. Howie Roseman is loading up Vic Fangio's secondary for 2024, and I absolutely love it. 